Hey, this is Ryan from Dakota Angler and Outfitter, and today we're going to be tying a tapered coil mayfly nymph. It's about as easy of a fly as you're going to find, and it works incredibly well. So, I've got a size 16 Daiichi 1530 in the vise right now. You could use a lot of competition style hooks, would work great too. And uh, I'm using 50 denier Semperfly Nano Silk Thread in brown. So, start your thread at the front of the hook. Trim off your excess. And I'm going to take about, oh, I don't know, four to six strands of Cocktail Leon for a tail. You want it to be, I like them a little longer than the hook shank, especially on a short hook like this. So maybe hook shank and a half on a hook as short as this one. Tie that down. Trim off your excess, bring your thread to the back, about even with the barb, maybe just a little forward of the barb. Up there looks good. Then I'm using a Hemingway's Synthetic Tapered Peacock Quill. I'm using yellow olive here, you can tie it in whatever color you like. So I would take it and tie it in, so the bottom side of it's adhesive actually. So take it and tie it with the adhesive side facing you. And then bring your thread up mm, about a hook eye behind the eye, I would say. And start wrapping this. This stuff gives you a really nice, that dark edge, it gives you a really nice kind of lifelike look to it as well. Remember, it's, it's tapered as it gets going forward, so you get a little longer segments each wrap you go forward. So go about to there. Give it about two wraps. The Semperfly thread, you can tie stuff down with hardly any thread wraps. And take and trim off your extra. And then just kind of cover that up with your thread. I like making just a little, little darker thread head there. And taking wet finish. This is the super super simple fly, but you can kind of build the <clears throat> build the taper to this fly into the the UV resin when you apply that. It's I've found more and more in recent years, especially on places that get fished more, you can do incredibly well with flies that are just like almost seem too simple to even work. Stuff like this, and just having a fly like this and various different colors to kind of match different insects is about as good of a bed as anything it seems like and this fly too makes a great midge pattern if you take and just trim the trim the tail off of it just kind of go all the way around it give it all a nice even coat maybe just a little more I like enough resin on there to kind of build a a taper into the fly just a bit. It doesn't need to be a lot, but just a little bit of a, a taper is nice. So I'll take a bodkin even and yeah, we'll put just a little more resin on there, I think. I'm using Loon Thin UV resin here too, but like Solar Res Bow and Dry would be another really good one for this kind of application. There we go. So then just take your bodkin and kind of spread it so it gives it that nice kind of tapered tapered body. If you kind of just, as long as you have a rotary vise, as long as you kind of keep turning it kind of pretty evenly once you get it where you want it, it'll kind of stay there. And just zap it with your UV light. It looks too easy to work but it's I can't tell you how many times I've taken a fly like this and put it on as my fifth fly in a spot and all of a sudden you're catching fish in a spot where you weren't catching any before so tie it in whatever color your, your local fish like we do really good on kind of yellows and olives and blacks locally here but you can tie this fly in whatever color variation you'd like thanks